welcome back. Um, I'm doing a quick video here because I was talking to someone in game yesterday and they told me about this. I didn't know about certificates. Uh, to give you an update, I finished all of the tutorials. The, I did the advanced military and I'm going to put one video up where the tutorial forces you to blow up your ship. <clears throat> And I'm glad that they did that because now I'm over it. Now I know what happens. I know what to do. And I'm going to upload that so that everybody, you know, the, the people that don't play EVE or new people coming into EVE see what that's like. Uh, I think there was one or two missions. I, I don't remember. But I, I finished that tutorial uh, set. I am done with all of the tutorials. At the end of that tutorial, they gave me a thrasher. So, if you're a new player coming into the game, if you do no, the, the two tutorials that I strongly suggest you do are the military and the advanced military, if only to get the thrasher, to get the, the thrasher. And I don't think that you have to do the military one to do the advanced military one. I don't think so. Uh, to me, I'm glad I did the whole tutorial series because it, it, it did teach me a little bit and you know get me going on how to make money in the game how to use the market how to you know trying to teach me how to fit the ship but that's where I was really getting lost trying to figure out what skills go together so that you can properly fit your ships because each ship has a different purpose so <clears throat> I was talking to someone um, in uh, Eve last night and they mentioned certificates I didn't know certificates I mean there's so many little things in the game and even like you can see with this menu there's just like a million things in the game and I honestly haven't when I open you know the character sheet I just I honestly did not look and it's the second one I didn't I didn't I have not looked at all of these yet because I've been too busy in the skill queue <laughs> So anyway, um, yeah, um, they're certificates. And what these certificates do, they're a guide. Oh, no, let me, let me also rephrase why I didn't. Another reason why I decided not to do these is because I've mentioned before that I was considering applying to EVE University for um, my corporation because it's a teaching corporation. And I don't remember if it was in a video or if it was on one of the tutorials, but they said certificates are basically bragging rights. So I ignored them. I'm like, oh, well, I don't have to worry about those. And it's, that's stuck in my head. So when someone mentioned them last night, it's like, eh, I'm not trying to pimp anything. But then I looked in because I trust what that person was saying about certificates being a good guide for a new person and it is in my opinion it is and they warned me that all certificates don't make sense so you you know you got to use your brain here but for example I'm flying the thrasher right now and now I have a better understanding what a thrasher is um, because it, it, it's a destroyer it's a tech one ship for a mim mimitar <clears throat> but I know that this is a ship that I'm supposed to be flying at this point in my EVE career. That's the one they gave me at the end of the uh, the advanced military chain. And now I'm lucky I have two, so if I lose one, I've got... But I, I don't think I'll, I'll, I'll... No, I'm not even going to say that. I was about to say, I don't think I'll lose one soon, and then that's, of course, like damning yourself. But the the ship was given to me and it was completely fitted and it was wonderful it's like all I have to do is just get in there and fly and that's that's wonderful but um, I, I was looking at those fittings and playing with Evemon which is a software program that you can use to play with fittings and there's just so many skills there's just so many so if you look in, if you open up your ship information and you look in recommended, they have the certificates that they suggest you have to properly fly that ship. And of course, these things will um, overlap on different, on different ships. And there are specialties for each race as well. But 
as you can see here, like this is core competency, and that's up in up in here. And uh, core competency. There we go. Woohoo! Catch up. Yeah. So I, you see the the check of the check mark here. I have that. I don't have any of these. <laughs> So it's telling me if I want this certificate, I have four things that I have to get. Okay. And um, I like this. I like this. Now with um, the defense, the active shield, active shield tanking, that I have. And see all the green check marks? Yeah. So um, one thing I don't understand and I think this is just one of those small UI things that they they should pick they should add you see here on the left hand side active shield tanking and you see on the right that I have it but there's nothing here on this ship that says that I have achieved that certificate so I think they should just put a little green check mark over there to let me know so that I don't have to because at some point as you train skills even if you're not trying you will be able to claim certificates even if you're not trying and I think that there should be some correlation between the two so that when I open my ship you know and I look at these recommended I know what I have I know what I need to do and it's just easy so I, I think they should flow together so yeah um I found out about certificates so I've I've been uh, I'm, I'm really pleased about that so I'm working on that and I am one of the things that you have to do and the one of the, the main reason why I've, I decided to make this video not only about their certificates is because new players and I probably this is where they decide to leave the game you finish the tutorial section and you're cluster fucked because you don't know what to do next. You're like, what now? Because there's a million different directions that you can go into. And thinking about it and talking to others, to me, it just makes sense to one, be able to make some isk in this game, and two, be able to protect myself in this game. Those are my two things. So I'm going to be focusing on being able to make some money and being able to whoop some ass. Yeah, makes sense, doesn't it? And once you have a focus, then I think you can... Now, how I decide I'm going to make money, I'm going to be looking at the market today and, and whatnot. How am I going to be able to protect myself? I want to see what the options are because they suggest, the game suggests going to the sisters and do that arc of missions. And I was going to check that out, but evesurvival.org has been down all weekend. So I, I didn't want to make a decision until I knew what exactly what that arc was. It's supposedly like 50 missions. Um, and one thing that I do want to do is just I want to fly around a bit. I want to learn the different, you know, where the different hubs are. Like, for instance, as a new player, as a Mimitar, can I go to Jita? Not that I want to... I feel, I hear that's where all the scams and everything are, scams and everything are, but is is Eve like wow? Where if you like Horde can't just roll up in and go into Stormwind, you know, and and Alliance can't come up in Orgrimmar. So is it like that? That if I try to go in Kaldari space, I'll get shot at? <laughs> no, I have no idea. So these are the thing, and that didn't come across in any of the tutorials or anything like that. So. I don't want to be stuck in my little Mimitar space if I can actually fly out. So the upcoming videos coming up are going to be me. I, I don't I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> It'll be interesting. But this is where I think that pivotal point where, where players bounce because they really don't know what to do next. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm I'm excited. I, I am definitely excited. Yesterday, last night, I went flying around to different... I saw that I went in yellow space for the first time yesterday. And, and now that I know that it's safe, I went flying out there. And just... And I 
was practicing not right clicking so much and using that overview and and honing in trying to make flying faster because those few seconds can make all the difference which you will see in the advanced uh, military thing where you have to blow up your ship and you're in your pod and you've got to get out of there because the whole thing just you know blows up so yeah um next video coming up after this will probably be that and hmm, got some other stuff <laughs> So I wanted to, to let people know about the certificates. And I want to hear, you know, veterans, what do you think about certificates? Why didn't they mention certificates in the tutorial? I, there's a lot of inconsistencies in this game. There's a lot of resources there that, that like the certificates. It seems like per, maybe perhaps this was added in later in the game and it was thrown in and... It doesn't hook with anything else, which you can see right here. It's in the ships, but there's nothing there to say that I've already got this. So <clears throat> I'd like to know what you think about the, the certificates. And what do you suggest new players do once they, you know, once they finish the tutorials? Do you go to the sister arc? I'm still a little hesitant on joining a corp. And the reason why is because I record videos. I need to be able to record. Don't tell me I can't freaking fly, which is what Eve Online or Eve uh, University, they don't want you to fly. And it's like, what do you mean I can't fly? And I guess I could fly another tune. Uh, and I have, I don't have the a second account, but I set myself a trial for another one before the plex thing um went out and i just haven't done anything with it yet but uh that's what's co that's one of the main reasons why i haven't signed up because i don't want to hear i can't fly <laughs> and in a npc player corporation i can never be at war so i can fly whenever whenever i want so i'm thinking it might be a better thing for me to do is to make friends and fly with them instead of getting in a corp and whatnot. I mean, do I really need the corp to reimburse my ship? If I can make money, then I can buy my own ships, right? I mean, spill your knowledge in the comments. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one.